Welcome to the Stations of the Cross, written specifically for Trinity Episcopal Cathedral in Omaha, Nebraska. At Trinity Cathedral, we adapted the traditional Stations of the Cross into one that was written by Pope John Paul II for use at the Colosseum in Rome. It still includes 14 stations, but only stations that are found in the scriptures. We have taken those stations and written prayers and music appropriate to our cathedral. This devotion is meant to be a pilgrimage without traveling to the Holy Land. And so we invite you into prayer by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Station 1. Jesus prays in the Garden of Gethsemane. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane. And he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. When he returned to his disciples, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, So you cannot keep watch with me for one hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Remember me, Lord, when I am alone. Help me remember, Lord, when they are alone. Station 2. Jesus, betrayed by Judas, is arrested. Then, while Jesus was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this, they laid hands on him and arrested him. Comfort me, Lord, when family or friends betray me. Forgive me, Lord, when I have betrayed you by ignoring the poor and sick.
Station 3. Jesus is condemned by the Sanhedrin. When day came, the council of elders of the people met, both chief priests and scribes, and they brought him before their Sanhedrin. They said, If you are the Messiah, tell us. But he replied to them, If I tell you, you will not believe, and if I question, you will not respond. But from this time on, the Son of Man will be seated at the right hand of the power of God. They all asked, Are you the Son of God? He replied to them, You say that I am. Then they said, What further need have we for testimony? We have heard it from his own mouth. Help me, Lord, to reach out with humility and love to those the church has hurt. Inspire me, Lord, to welcome and love all who visit our cathedral community. Station 4. Jesus is denied by Peter. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. Again, he denied it with an oath. I do not know the man. A little later, the bystanders came over and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that, he began to curse and to swear. I do not know the man. And immediately a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the words that Jesus had spoken. Before the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. Accept me, Lord, despite all my fears and my failures. Help me, Lord, to accept you in the hungry and homeless whom we serve on Wednesdays. Station 5. Jesus is judged by Pilate. The chief priests with the elders and scribes, that is, the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. 
Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him, Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer, so that Pilate was amazed. Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Judge me not harshly, Lord, when I judge others. Fill me with courage, Lord, when it is time to resist oppressive rulers. Station 6. Jesus is scourged and crowned with thorns. Then Pilate took Jesus and had him scourged. And the soldiers wove a crown out of thorns and placed it on his head and clothed him in a purple cloak. And they came to him and said, Hail, King of the Jews. And they struck him repeatedly. Pardon me, Lord for scourging others with my tongue. Help me, Lord, to crown the suffering with your glory. Station 7. Jesus Bears the Cross When the chief priests and guards saw Jesus, they cried out, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him. I find no guilt in him. They cried out, Take him away! Take him away! Crucify him! Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. So they took Jesus, and carrying the cross himself, he went out to what is called the place of the school, in Hebrew, Golgotha. Strengthen me, Lord, to bear my crosses. Grant me, Lord, the wisdom to use those crosses to serve the vulnerable.
Station 8. Jesus is helped by Simon the Cyrenian. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Use me, Lord, to help carry the cross of another. Guide me, Lord, like the immigrant Simon the Cyrene, to help serve our immigrant community at Yates Community Center. Station 9. Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. A large crowd of people followed Jesus, including many women who mourned and lamented him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed, the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time, people will say to the mountains, fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Let me cry with you, Lord, over our shared sorrows. Allow me, Lord, to see you in the friends of Tamar and the women of Magdalene. Station 10, Jesus is crucified. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right, the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Forgive me, Lord, for my sins are many. Grow in me, Lord, the desire to forgive even when I am crucified.
Station 11. Jesus promises his kingdom to the good thief. Now one of the criminals hanging there reviled Jesus, saying, Are you not the Messiah? Save yourself and us. The other, however, rebuking him, said in reply, Have you no fear of God? For you are subject to the same condemnation. And indeed, we have been condemned justly. For the sentence we received corresponds to our crimes. But this man has done nothing criminal. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. He replied to him, Amen, I say to you, today you will be with me in paradise. Search after me, Lord, when I have strayed. Let me seek you, Lord, each day on earth. Station 12. Jesus speaks to his mother and the disciple. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple there whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Love me, Lord, when I need friends and community. Remind me, Lord, when anyone needs compassion and love. Station 13. Jesus dies on the cross. It was now about noon, and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon because of an eclipse in the sun. Then the veil of the temple was torn down the middle. Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. And when he had said this, he breathed his last
Station 14, Jesus is placed in the tomb. When it was evening, there came a rich man from Arimathea named Joseph, who was himself a disciple of Jesus. He went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Then Pilate ordered it to be handed over. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. Comfort me, Lord, in my darkest hour. Let me bury my despair in your undying love. Together, let us say the words that Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.